Hi guys, this is Danny for Cupping Cakes for Me. And today's video, we're gonna make this little frozen fever candle. And before we forget, don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell button because if you don't press the bell button, you're not gonna to see my new videos on your homepage. So if you do that, you're gonna be the first one to know all the new videos coming. All my social medias up there and my list of videos, they are in Portuguese and English, so you can pick the one best for you. And today's video, I can I wanna dedicate for Kathy, she watched my videos and left some comments, so I'm very happy. And we're gonna start with the bright, bright pink. I know that you probably will not pick pink for your candle, but this is for, was for a custom, customer, and she wanted in pink to match the rest of the decoration. So colors you can just change. We just, you know, showing the steps, but you can make it as a little blue, more blue if you wanna make like a. A frozen candle or a white or whatever color you want to do. So we're gonna put the number three. I'm making the number three. You also can make any other number. You know, you don't need to make a number three, of course. And I'm always placing it on the top of the phone because I feel like clay dries really not smooth on paper because the paper sucks it up all the moisture so i think that clay, the clay f dries better on the top of the the a craft phone you can find it in anywhere like walmart anywhere so i made a bunch of little balls i made like little tiny ones for the feet the belly a little bigger and the head a little bigger to make those cutie is babies no man's then olaf made it like everywhere or somebody was sneezing was it olaf was all off, right? So, yeah, so we're gonna make them all to put in the details. You also can make a candle um, that is all off and these little ones. I have it here. Uh, I made it before. I'm gonna see if I can put the um, the picture here for you guys too. Um, I know that Frozen, we don't talk too much about it, but people still love Frozen. So I'm gonna see if I can find the, the candle for you and leave um the picture here for, to give another idea so i'm just gonna place three other little snowflakes and now i'm gonna start making her face i made a tiny tiny little bowl and mark the center where the eyes are gonna be with the back of my brush just making everything you know, be super marked and smooth and now we're gonna make a little um ball for the nose you don't need to worry about just make the little ball and a circle then you're gonna make an indentation in the center and cut it in half and this way you're gonna be sure then the two ears to both sides are gonna be the same so you cut it in half very gentle because it's very tiny and then we're gonna place on the both sides of the face just like that Now for the hair, you can just make a long snake and twist it around like I'm doing, or you can make three snakes and twist it like a real braid. I normally twist it like a little braid when I'm making for Elsa, but when I'm making Anna, I normally just twist two, because if you twist three times, one, the side that, you go, that I'm gonna make now, um, with that white hair, kind of gets too white for my taste. I like the white to appear, but not too much. So you see that I'm putting three pieces, but I'm not going to start braiding like a braid. I'm just going to twist it around so I can measure it, decide how much of the white I want to show. And then a little piece on the bottom, I cut it off. That's going to be the bang. And now we're going to start placing the hair on the head. You can wait the head to be a little drier if you're scared to lose the shape. But if you don't have time or you don't want to, just be gentle and you can do it. So now I just made a lot of snake and twist it in half and bend it a little bit to make the bang and the little left piece then i got off her braid i put it there too and now we're gonna finish her hair now with the silicone to a tip i'm making the mouth it's just making a half moon right there you can use any type of you know a tool you have if you don't have it you can just mark as well like that i just have it so it's easier especially when i'm making candles and i'm making a bunch and now i'm gonna show you two different ways to make this um sunflowers because they have like the snowman's and sunflowers for frozen fever so one thing that i'm doing we make the 
flowers with a silicone mold and put it the center and brown like a sunflower has but it doesn't look like a sunflower yet so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut all the pieces in half separating them and they making them look more like a sunflower because a sunflower doesn't have the petal then it's super perfect and round you know it's a little bit more open or if you don't have the silicone mold or you think that doesn't really look like a sunflower you can make a bunch of little snakes like I'm making it and keep making um a star like you know plus signs and multiplication signs and put it all together and then you're gonna cut the excess around put a little brown in the middle i use a little water to glow to glue and then just try to cut cut as round as you want but she wanted me to make it as a little flower then wasn't like a sunflower so i'm showing you that one and now we're just gonna start painting her face. My candle is completely dry before I do that and I'm gonna start with the white and a very, 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 very tiny brush. We make two little balls right there, just center by the nose and try to make them as away from the nose both sides and then you're gonna be center. And now I'm using a little blue to make the detail of her eyes. But you don't need to really worry about when you're painting things that little because if you put too much the details can be like looking heavy or too dark or you know things like that so go slow and then a little bit of each color and now i'm just giving a little tap of black and at the center of the eyes, we are ready. So now I'm just gonna work the brush a little bit and try to make two eyelashes on each side and her eyebrow, just one side, because the other side's covered by her. And she is done. You can make put some glitter for pretend to snow, and I made a little faces on the snowman. So I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up for this video. And all the information I will leave for you guys on the show more bar you just can click there and you're gonna find all the links all materials and everything between and leave me a comment so i can dedicate a video for you thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys soon bye